All right, so welcome to our first video lecture here. Uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of math this year, and to make sure that we're both talking about the same thing or speaking the same language, uh, I want to make sure that we specifically define a few terms, and then we're going to use them, and that's going to be basically the essentials of this lesson. So first, what is an algebraic expression? Well, an algebraic expression is basically like a sentence in math. So I'm going to put that in quotation marks. It's like a sentence. It's any, uh, it's one or more terms just grouped together by various operations. So, linked, sorry the handwriting isn't so great. So I use two words here, operations and terms, which I have to define down here. All right, so um, <clears throat> first, what is a variable? A variable is essentially an unknown, all right? It stands for a number or a quantity, but we don't know what it is yet until we you know, solve our equation or whatever. Also, I want to note here, an equation and an expression are slightly different. An equation has an equal sign where we can solve for an x, an expression doesn't necessarily have to equal something. So an expression could just be x plus 2. That's an expression. Whereas an equation would be x plus 2 equals 5. See the difference? So this doesn't necessarily have to equal anything. The unknown can remain. So a variable is an unknown or something that you would solve for or just stands for a quantity or a number. A term is just a... Um, basically the way to think of a term it's anything that you could add, or you've ever heard the word like terms? All right, it's, um, it could be something like 2x, it could be x, y, z squared, it could be um, 5. Each one of these is a single term. All right, if we were to add them or subtract them or do different operations to them, then that would be an expression. All right, a factor, this is an important one, this will be very important later in the year. A factor is um, something that multiplies into something larger. So if I have the number 10, the factors are 2 and 5. All right, because they multiply to give me something else. So a factor is something that multiplies into a term. All right, so here the factor would be 2 and x. Here the factor would be x, y, a z, and a z. Um, and then power, base, and exponent. So if you have something to a power, like let's say uh, 2 to the fifth power, we call this the base, and we call this the exponent. So that's actually an operation. You can take 2 and raise it to the fifth power. That would be an operation. Um, operations are basically what you do to numbers um, and or variables. So these are the basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Um, <clears throat> some other words for these would be, uh, this is add, uh, sum is another word. Um, sometimes and is used. So this would be subtract. This is uh, difference means the same thing. So the difference of two numbers means you subtract them. Uh, this would be multiply, of course. And uh, another word for that would be product. Here is uh, divide. And another word for dividing is quotient. All right, so let's apply this to a few sentences. Um, if at any point, I should say, if I'm going too fast, you can pause it, stop it, rewind, rewatch. Um, and, of course, we'll be going over some class how to use these videos the best way to your advantage. Uh, <clears throat> so writing verbal expressions. This could be the product 
as it's assumed to be multiplied right here, product of 9 and um, a squared. Okay, and there's more than one way to write many of these. So this could be um, 7 times um, x to the third power. Um, minus 1. So I could write minus 1, or I could do 1 less than. So sometimes you'll see it written that way to try and trick you up, but 1 less than all this means all this minus 1. Alright, so you try. Here's a couple of ones for you to try, and there's going to be one more slide, so come back and do these when you're done. All right, so writing algebraic expressions, this is going to be a little more important for you to be able to look at a sentence or hear a sentence and be able to write them out. So I do several of these so you get a bunch of examples, and then your u tries will be um, right here. So the sum of a number and 10. Sum means add. So a number and 10. A number could be x plus 10. Bam, done. Piece of cake. Um, 8 increased by. Increased by is going to be adding. So 8 increase by three times a number. All right, and by our order of operations, three times a number has to stay together. So the difference of 17 and five times a number. So 17, difference is subtraction. So 17 minus five times a number. And you use x and whatever variable you want. The product of two and the second power of y, so that's going to be a y squared. So the product, so that means 2 times y squared. Uh, 7 times the sum of x cubed and 5. So it's 7 times something, 7 times this. All right, so it matters how you group things. This is going to be 7 times the sum of x plus 5. Five. Now wait, it's not written like this. It's x plus 5 grouped together, then 7 times that. Okay, so go ahead and do the fir uh, first you try and the second. If you need to rewatch any part of this video, that's fine. And I look forward to seeing you next class.